Turning across social media this morning, the star of the hit movie Black Klansman will be in San Antonio next weekend. And a Houston magnet school is under fire for a message on a wall that many are calling misogynistic. Digital journalist Nia Wesley is live from the newsroom to keep us updated on today's talkers. Good morning. Hello, yeah. Marvin. So, guys, the quote is, the more you act like a lady, the more he'll act like a gentleman. This is a quote plastered on the wall at a magnet school in Houston, and the community was outraged, you know, and we shared this on our Facebook page yesterday. And, you know, you guys had mixed feelings on the quote. Tim Shanann said, the only purpose for this quote is to brainwash kids into believing that females are responsible for the behavior of males. It's socially acceptable form of, well, maybe she deserved it. And then Jennifer Ramirez, she says, it's not a blame game. You act like trash, you get treated like trash. It's actually teaching them to set boundaries and standards. And basically this quote was posted at Gregory Lincoln Education Center in Houston in Fourth War and a lot of people are calling it misogynistic. And you know, here's the kicker. The quote was actually uh, first said by a woman who was an owner of an escort agency like in the 1900s. So, you know, when I see it, you know, it's kind of disheartening for me because it's, you know, constantly through society we see, you know, girls, you know, telling women what we should be doing. Let's teach our young men to treat women respectfully no matter what, no matter what they're wearing, no matter how they're acting. There are a lot of girls who choose to act more like a boy. They're more tomboys. So all women should be treated with respect no matter what. Uh, also trending, the star of the hit movie Black Klansman, you know, you, that's the Spike Lee movie. It came out, I think, a week ago. I saw it. It was amazing. Basically, it's about uh, one of the first African-American police officers in the Colorado Springs Police Department, and he infiltrates the Ku Klux Klan, and basically, he partners up with another policeman in the department, and he pretends to be him and goes to all the meetings, the white officer, but the black officer is really the brains behind it and he's kind of like sitting off in the, in the distance, like planning everything, you gotta see it. Um, but the real Ron Stallworth, the real main character, he'll be in San Antonio next weekend at the Alamo Draft House at the Park North, Park North location by North Star Mall. And he'll be doing a live Q&A, taking your questions. And, you know, I have a lot of questions for him. I really want to try to attend this event. And uh, it's at Alamo Draft House. There are tickets available. You can find the event on Facebook. And uh, he'll also be signing copies of his autobiography. I think that'll just be an awesome opportunity to uh, speak to the real character and what that was like. So I'll definitely be trying to go. Good that he's going to be here and I, I you know, maybe I need to sk skedaddle over there right? too. We can go together. <laughs> By the way, yes, you are a beautiful woman and you have my respect. I know that's right. <laughs> All right, thank you, Nia. Thank There's you. a lot more I would